Uh, this camper here is a 2009 Keystone Springdale. Uh, it's 30 feet overall. It has a gooseneck adapter on it. Uh, we can leave that on or we can unbolt that. Anyway, let me walk around this Keystone and see if there's anything that stands out that I could show you in this video. It's a 2009, uh, I believe it's 30 or 31 feet. This, this camper has bunk beds in it. Uh, the decals look like they're in pretty good condition. I'm having a hard time getting the whole camper in the picture here because of where it's sitting and we're about to get rained on too. <clears throat> Anyway, Keystone's been building RVs for a long time, and overall the outside of this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's missing a marker light there. Uh, I'm sure we probably have one of those. And it looks like the front side here, looks like the decals on the uh, cargo door are a little like they're in rough condition. Anyway. There's some, man, there's a lot of storage under there. This bed folds up too, and you could put like bicycles and uh, things like that in there. Anyway, it is a used camper. It's not perfect. The tires look like they're in excellent shape. And again, it's a 2009 model. And I'm not sure, uh, I don't see anything out here that strikes me as horrible. Looks like that back door, the decals on that back door are probably the worst part and a little bit of the little bit of fade out here on the front, but very common for any camper to be honest with you. It's almost impossible to keep them perfect unless you keep them in a garage. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take you inside this uh, 2009 Keystone Springdale. As we go inside, it's a, uh, a 283 model. Get up in here before I get rained on real bad. <clears throat> anyway, you have uh, linoleum, which is always good, and especially for a camper that's set up for kids now. Uh, looks like you have a little cabinet here to the right, all the way up to the ceiling. I apologize if it's dark in here. It's like I said, if we're about to get rained on and it's, it's getting dark fast. Anyway, the carpets in here are beautiful. Uh, looks like it's got a real nice sofa bed. I don't know if that's a that's a jackknife sofa. A nice U-shaped dinette. Let me pan around here and let you get a good look at the uh, layout. You have a center kitchen, a uh, large single basin sink, microwave and stove, and uh, of course this this dinette is would make a huge bed when you fold that table down. You could sleep two people there easily. All the upholstery and everything look, look, looks like it's in really good shape. It does have a little tear in it right here. Uh, other than that, everything looks good. Uh, I think we must be missing one mini blind right here. Again, this table is a freestanding table, so you can move that and you can get around the back of it with no problem. And let me go back here to the bunk bed area. Uh, you have a TV stand, some dresser drawers down here. We just towed this camper in so everything's a little disheveled right now. So you got cabinets. Ceiling height back here in the back is pretty good. I mean, not, it's about six foot six uh, all the way at the back of the camper now. You have a uh, full-size bed down the bottom here and up top you have a single uh, twin bunk and no water damage in this camper. It's in it's in very good condition. Um, it is a used camper. It's not perfect, but it's very nice. Let me go ahead and just show you around a little bit. Let me get up to the front. We got some cabinets here. Nice deep storage cabinet. Again, you got the. Uh, that's the fingerprint proof front on that refrigerator. That's pretty nice. AM FM stereo CD player, and that's also a DVD player. I'm going to go ahead and just cruise right on up to the bedroom area. Uh, you can see the carpet on the steps are in ex excellent shape. And as we go up front, we have 
a queen size island bed. Uh, ceiling height up here is very good. Uh, ceiling height up here is about six foot six. And it looks like all the window treatments are intact. Again, it looks like the carpets are in excellent shape. And we have another drawer that's open. Again, that's from the camper being towed in. Anyway, this is your uh, general layout up, up top here. You got a nice corner shower, uh, sink, and medicine cabinet. And the linoleum's all in real good condition. No burn marks, no tears, no rips. And here's your corner shower. And you can see the skylight hasn't leaked. Just overall very nice. And last but not least, uh, would not be a camper without having a commode. And that is a foot flush commode. And you have plenty of space in here to use the facilities. Anyway, my name is George and my phone number will be in the ad. If you have a need for this 2009 Keystone Springdale, I'll be more than happy to show it to you. Uh, give me a call. Overall on a scale of 1 to 10, I say the camper's a solid 8.5. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's very nice. A uh, really nice used camper. And uh, I'll be more than happy to show it to you. Thank you for watching my video. And have a great day.